Uh, have with us Mr. Gupta here, uh, who is uh, uh, fairly experienced uh, in the media branding and marketing and communication world. Uh, so we asked her to. She she often works with enterprises, with social enterprises, as uh, as an individual mentor uh, and works with a lot of enterprises uh, it, to advise on the media strategy, uh, on the communication strategy. Uh, so Rita, you could probably start with your session and then we we'll move into the mock the mentoring mock question. Hello, everyone. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, can I just very quickly have the um, swing for one as well? I'm from Hanukkah. I'm from Hanukkah. I'm from Hanukkah. I'm from Hanukkah. I'm from Good morning, I'm Alun from Bangalore Institute of Administration. Chandra Dubey from Bhushan Academy. It is Panya Khalil Kutasa. Okay. And Panya Mata Khalil Kutasa. Okay. I'm Manji Dhillam, my colleague from Yonatan is going to do the mentoring session. Okay. Gati on the internet. Okay. I'm Sadhi, I'm from the Okay. Good morning, I'm from the Okay. I'm from the Okay. So, very good. Um, are you also part of the May only be clever. From clever Okay. Uh, as they say, when you start off on a new topic, it's ideally great to remember one of the greats who's spoken so much and has added so much value. I think even Chanakya Niki begins with an incantation of Krishna. So, and we So, we so, are going to quickly look at what uh, Kaurna has to say on the subject and we go deeper into some very simple clues for marketing. Very simple, they are very distilled. There is no jargon here that is going to be spouted unnecessarily. It's just very distilled uh, information on how you can use marketing and daily life. So, this is I think a little bit of buffering is still left, so I just start with a definition before the buffering gets Unfortunately, since that uh, video is going to take a little bit of time, we'll move on with what we have for your today. I don't need to tell you what business is, but no topic on marketing can begin without a little bit of understanding of what business Because whenever you do marketing, and since your business has only two real functions, which is marketing and innovation, one has to define what your business is all about before one starts talking about marketing. All business is about perspective. How far can the founder see? How scalable is the solution? How to engage his capital into his dream? You're doing this day in and day out. And this is where your marketing begins. <coughs> Today, solutions transform from local to global at the click of a button. It's how fast will you go and how quickly can you ramp up. When you think about marketing, I think the most narrow way for you to see it would be your four P's. It's really narrow. It starts with what is it that you want to say and who do you want to hear it? <coughs> What is your audience? What is your target group? And how far do you want your message to go? Because if you say that I am a local player and Mujhe say I have to talk only to a small limited audience of people, that's probably wrong. Because the reason why you are marketing your enterprise is to be outlined very clearly. Can you send me the Innovation is about the product itself and how one anticipates the potential usage of the product. 
how much thought is put into increasing the convenience of usage of the products? Does it anticipate a clear need or does it offer a solution that the consumer currently doesn't imagine? So many products have successes that the consumer never imagined. Your iPhone for instance. Ten years ago, if we had done some kind of a consumer survey, ki, do you need a touch screen home that has apps? Your answer would have been no. No, there was no such need envisaged at that time. We are saying, is your product something that satisfies an existing need or is it a product that the consumer has not yet envisaged because your entire approach towards marketing and communication begins from there. What was the reason you set out to create this product or service? When you do a marketing analysis of your product or service, you are typically looking at a need, want, demand survey. Your product or service either satisfies an existing need or it falls into a space which is not necessarily a need or it could be a demand. Now, when you talk about a marketing program for social enterprises, your first question is, is there any difference between marketing, a regular organization and a social enterprise? Fundamentally, a very small difference, but which makes all the difference eventually. You all clearly occupy the need end of the pyramid. This is not BMWs or Audis or iPhones that we are selling. We are selling real solutions to real people. They operate at the need end of the pyramid, not the want and demand end. Or at the need end, the product is often being designed in consultation with the customer. In fact, a lot of the profiles that I read of your organization, you have sat down with farmers, understood their problems, leased out land back from them. I was reading about the enterprises. Your solutions are designed with your customer. That's really the major marketing difference in your product. When you are designing a product, not knowing who your end customer is, At the need end, the product is often being designed in consultation with us. The important lessons in marketing are instinctive, intuitive and curiously entrepreneurial. See, at the end of the day, when your product is being designed in consultation with your consumer, there are certain things that are already known, there are certain things that are already built into your product. There are certain usages that you've already built into your product. And the end usage of your product communicated clearly is marketing. Right? Always be shameless, okay? This is something very new. There is no shyness, there is no room for any kind of shyness in marketing. Whether it is handing out your visiting card, whether it is speaking the name of your company loudly and clearly, nobody knows about it. Okay? Doesn't make a difference. But when you introduce yourself with a firm handshake and you speak the name loudly of your organization, loudly, clearly, in a manner that the person in front of you hears it, that's the first lesson in mind. Always be passionate, reduce degrees of separation, believe in yourself because no one has seen it. What is reducing degrees of separation? It's very simple. There is someone you want to meet. Okay? You don't know this person. And probably it's difficult to get an appointment with this person. Marketing reduces the degrees of separation. When people start knowing about your product or service, when people start knowing what you represent, when people start seeing your passion, the degrees of separation of you and the person you want to meet, you and the person you want to meet, you and your vision, they are saved. Now we have some interesting props to explain all this, which I can talk about. So 
the contact setting for social enterprise. One thing we've learned is the operation is at the need end of the pyramid, and therefore the marketing lessons need to begin there. Although the roots of social enterprises go back to 1844, when the Australian Society of Equitable Planning and founded the corporate movement, social enterprises are well placed to be part of a government's plan for social infrastructure. Social enterprises need marketing for two reasons to talk about their product or service and to attract capital. So your marketing is not only to sell your product or service, that's one part of it. Because most of your products are designed in consultation with your customers. The other important need is to attract talent. The need for talent in your organization is as much as it is anywhere else. But the fact of the matter is nobody wants to join an organization that's not well performed. So being able to attract good talent, wanting a pool of people to say, I want to work for that guy who did that. That's as much a part of your marketing exercise as just selling your product. Since most of you revolve around provision of basic services, understood that you will have to meet public officials, your name has to be loud enough to get you an appointment. This is just a reiteration of what we said earlier. Your marketing begins with every little thing you do. Every moment, uh, an entrepreneur and a social entrepreneur is marketing himself every waiting moment of every single day. There is no break from marketing. Social entrepreneurship is a multi-dimensional construct involving the expression of entrepreneurially virtuous behavior, which is a social mission. Very, very uh, standard definition, so I'm not going to sit on that right now. Social enterprises display a coherent unity of purpose and action in the force of world economic complexity. The ability to recognize social value creating opportunities, local solutions, fleet footedness and characteristics such as innovativeness, proactiveness, risk taking, risk five. Sound logic pronounce the name of your organization and your solid marketing. Here are your steps. We go through the steps of marketing. Strong visual identity, color, and skill. Does your organization have a very strong visual identity? Now, this is, these are the things that you can examine, analyze for your organization, go back and understand. Do I have this? Do I not? There is a slide that's going to come up. I'm going to ask you to identify it. And there's another slide after that. I'm going to request you to identify that. Let us see how many of you identify the first one and how many of you identify the second one. What does this represent? <coughs> okay. Any specific instance that comes to your mind when you see this? Mumbai Riots. Okay, Mumbai Riots. Okay. Anything else? It's a strong visual depicting something, and each of us will have our interpretation of this visual. Any other answer? Okay, what is this? Lost. So your answers have been Godra and Gujarat for this one. This is another picture from the Godra guys. But the point is, this is not Godra. Both the pictures are reactions post Godra guys. That's the very same the, Yes. The moment That's I saw it, I did not know it is post Godra Right. So here is what I am trying to say. You looked at both the pictures. When you saw the first picture, the reaction was riots. Okay. There were riots, post riots. The reaction was some kind of a riot. The second picture made it very clear which state, which incident it is associated with. Now, there has been no marketing money spent on this picture, consciously. If at all, it has been content-led communication. Was there any marketing money spent on this picture? Absolutely none. The content was so powerful, the context was so powerful, and the visual stayed with us. It is easier for us to identify this one picture. In fact, 
this made it to uh, you know the best photographs or the most memorable photographs media photographs of the year in the year that was there this man symbolizes something this is the importance of symbols you show it you know a certain number of times you work on an identity you flash it again and again and again to your consumer slowly but surely set a context around it and your context has to be content here it has to be passion there has to be some emotion evoked because of that content that is creating a strong visual identity we just explain this to another way can you interpret this for me what is this and all ideas are welcome even ideas that do not necessarily agree with what i am saying are more than absolutely Can someone interpret this? Yeah. Okay. It can be inside of the cube. Can be inside of the cube. What more do you need? Inside of the cube. Okay. 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 You put stone. Okay. 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 Three dimensional chessboard. Three dimensional chessboard. Okay. Wonderful. See, this is again. a very very um, interesting thing that image we are discussing visual identity here <coughs> i'm just showing you a couple of images this fortunately or uh, unfortunately <coughs> is a very humble mock fight okay it's a way you see it you zoom in enough and you can confuse everyone you see it for what it is present it for what it is and it's amply clear what this is it's just a 3d illusionary mouse pad right what are we trying to say here we are saying that a you should have a very clear visual identity you should invest in a strong visual identity <coughs> having invested in a strong visual identity you have to ensure that that visual identity is clear and not confused it has to be very very clear now why are there you know how to run your business you are the entrepreneur you bring in the passion you bring in the energy you know where you want to go but when it comes to telling someone else what you are doing you are starting at 80 not at 0 because there's so much you already know you are telling someone that you are starting at a point where your level of familiarity with the subject is so great that you assume a certain level of familiarity to to the person listening so when you are explaining it what it is that you do or when you are creating a symbol of what it is that you do there is a gap remove yourself from that situation keep it very very simple your symbol there is no need to beautify anything the simpler it is the better it is two syllables best it is proven that any kind of communication that is that can be said in two syllables any word that is two syllabic and that can be repeated often simple enough and shown in a very simple manner that is the simplest thing that works for your organization so the first thing we have we have established today is the strong visual identity i just have to switch this back in Lucidly written business goal with social action explained. See, this is very very simple. It's a little humorous as well, but what I'm trying to say is what you are trying to say and what the person is hearing are two different things. Explain very simply with a punctuation. I would like to tell you that I love you. I can't stop thinking that you are one of the prettiest women on earth. Punctuate it differently. I would like to tell you that I love you. I can't. Stop thinking that you are one of the prettiest women on earth. There is no difference in the words used in the first instance and the words used in the second instance. But the way you say it, your understanding of where to stop, where not to stop, your understanding of the context you are setting to the entire equation that changes the communication. Your business goals have to be written very clearly with zero in mind. The person in front of you does not understand what you think. Start from the beginning. Don't spare him the details. 
start from where you started. Don't start from where you are right now. It's very difficult for the person to catch up and understand what you're talking about. So these are Gandhiji's three monkeys. Guramat suno, Guramat deko, Guramat bolo. Luckily nobody said anything about blogging. So Gandhiji's monkeys have no view on blogging. Ensure that your enterprise is blogged about. It's a completely free space out there. All you need is one happy student, one energetic student with some kind of understanding of the social space. The student gets first hands-on experience and you get to be in the space. So when you're speaking about <coughs> writing your business plan clearly, creating a strong visual identity, ensuring that something about your company goes out in cyberspace every day. See, these are rules we might make to ourselves but not be able to follow. Is something about your organization going out there every single day? Every single day. That's the discipline of marketing. Is somebody in your organization writing about what you're doing? A new approach, a new step, have you hired someone to do this? See, the point is that whatever it is that you're saying, unless you're saying the same thing consistently for long enough, it is replaced by other messages that are consistent because the space is limited. The space for people to absorb, the space for media to absorb, the space for investors to absorb, the space for anyone to absorb is limited. And the same messages that are hitting you are hitting everyone else. Your necessity, your universe decides what messages you absorb. But ensure that when it's about your organization, it is consistent, it is disciplined. And every single day, there is a message that you Lucidly written business board with social angle clearly explain. No one prefers your product for its social model. Your offering has to compete with all competing offerings. You can only defend very well for our position, but everyone has marketing myopia. Ask someone else to write this. What does this mean? Very simple. You have sat down, probably with your customer, and created a product. Now that is every reason for marketing myopia to not exist in your case. Marketing myopia is when you are creating a product that you can create as opposed to you creating a product which the consumer wants. But we are not necessarily operating in a space where you are looking at what the consumer wants. Some of your products and services are truly revolutionary. You are envisaging a need in your mind before putting out the product there. So you are saying defend only very well thought out positioning. What is it that you want to do? Whom are you targeting? Ensure that your plan addresses them very clearly. Sound logic. Pronounce the name of your organization nice and loud. It's your strongest marketing tool. This is critical to assist memory of the name of your organization. Irreverence. There should be something irreverent, memorable about your meeting with someone. Don't depend on personality. Let me just show you two props for this. Just pass it around and turn it around when you see following the rules, there is a strong visual identity. You are pronouncing the name of your organization now and There is one marketing message going out from your organization to the universe every single day by a blogger, by someone active in the social media. 
there is you have a clearly written business plan which is not shadowed by your understanding of your space but you hire someone else who knows nothing about that space to write it with your inputs so you are going right so far now it is time for your interaction you are meeting someone you are marketing yourself every breathing minute so when you are meeting someone what is it that you are meeting them you just need to see that and then I take it for you There's only one. There's one in the back. So uh, this website was launched last week in Mumbai. It's called Struck 120. It's a two-minute fashion project. It's again, you know, people who are shooting videos for two minutes on fashion shows, makeup artists, and uploading them online. They start every presentation with a visiting card that has something very interesting written behind. There is a lot of thought that has gone into this listing card. They have published over 5,000 listing cards, printed over 5,000 listing cards. Each of them has a different message. Now we are not saying that create 5,000 messages. Maybe there could be 100 messages that go across on various cards. But the fact is, once you meet someone from Struck 20, 120, it's difficult to forget that meeting. Because that visiting card is just so interestingly made. They have given a little more thought to them after. Take a look at this particular visiting card. It's Andres Omeo, who is a graphic designer. He's made a pencil as one face of his visiting card. See, the most important thing here is the rules are the same. Whether you are a social enterprise or a normal enterprise. When it comes to an interaction and leaving an impact on the interaction, nothing really is too silly. Sometimes we take our seriousness too seriously. Granted that we are in a very, very serious space. Granted that we are providing real solutions that people need. But somewhere, when we want to make an impact, it's important to have a little something unusual to that interaction. Has that visiting card passed off? I think it was for this one. Yeah, so I took a search and did run from that. This is the visiting card of Chris Fisher, who is a radio presenter. And when he goes and meets people, Whichever gathering, people remember to call him because the visual image of the mic, the fact that what he does for a living is speak. <coughs> what does he do for a living? He speaks for a living. People remember to call him for presentations, to handle shows. The little bit of innovativeness. I think uh, one of the uh, ad campaigns had captured it quite nicely. Thodisi Pagal Panti. I don't know. If uh, everyone is familiar with Hindi, yeah. But there needs to be a certain amount of irreverence and a certain amount of memorability to the interaction that you have. So this is just one example, one of the things that you could do. But the reason we zeroed in on the visiting card is because all of you have it. Is there anyone in this room who doesn't have a visiting card? We all have one. So once you've written your business plan clearly, once you have a blogger sending out messages every single day, once you've decided that you're going to not introduce yourself as blah 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 but I am from Kautilya Paito Eta, I don't know who that was, but I'm just using one name. Once you've decided to pronounce your name loud and clear, once you've decided to hand out a visiting card that speaks a little differently from every other visiting card, how many visiting cards a day are printed in India? Millions? With the same standard square design, your name, your designation, your email address, <coughs> and your address. Make a difference here. Now, let me give you another example of be clear about what you want to say. Can someone tell me what this represents? A vast collection of computers and other electronic devices that are all connected to an electronic communication medium that enables them to communicate with each other, provided they have the correct address and access permissions to do so. What is this? Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay, so this is the definition of the World Wide Web. W W W. So we have a situation. Again, this is just going back one step to explaining clearly what it is that you want to say. The lucid description. There is always a way to put things in a certain way. The way you know it. This is how the engineer thinks about data. This is not how we think about data. We don't view it this way at all. For us, it's an endless source of information, entertainment, communication, email. If I were to describe the internet and if I were to write something about it as a consumer, I would use very different language. The persons who create things have very different language to explain it. The people who use it have very different language the way they see it. This is the essence of what we mean by marketing. The bridging this gap between the way you see things and the way your consumer sees things. Between ensuring that even though somebody, say for example me, running a small organization with a small turnover, how do I attract people to come and work in my organization? These are the small tips to marketing because it's not just about selling your product or service. It's about generating recall. There should be something irreverent, memorable about your meeting with someone. Don't depend on personality. No history. This is irreplaceable. Sometimes when you interact with someone, there are the gimmicks part that you can plan, which is your visiting card. It's a gimmick, isn't it? You can plan that. What you need to invest more in, obviously, is the history. Because there is impact and then there is conversation. It always helps to drop an important piece of historical evidence or a fact that it's highly likely the person sitting in front of you will not know with respect to your organization, with respect to your industry. So the preparation for this marketing exercise lies in history. There is a lot of history to everything. Now, if somebody asks me who was the founding father of public relations, I should know. Who was the father of English literature, maybe a literature student should know it. Likewise, the industry that you are operating in, the specific solution that you are providing, what is the history of that solution? Nothing can replace content. The passion with which you communicate something, when your vision is beyond what you are just showing on the table at that particular time, that comes from history. That comes from knowing that X number of people have already done something like this. You are aware of the context that you are operating under. A little bit of history goes a long way in creating an impact, along with the link. Use every conceivable tool you have in your hand to make that impression. Work on your words. You have to tell yourself and your only currency is that and attention. You know, budgets have a way of becoming available though, when absolutely needed. One is not saying that budgets are not there or budgets are not to be spent. We are talking about how to create an impact when the only budget you have set aside for yourself is time. That's the most important currency. Every interaction, every living moment of your life, you are marketing yourself. Marketing never stops. Budgets will become available when needed. And when you know that the budget is going to give a good return, you will always make the budget available. At the end of the day, your approach is heavily entrepreneurial, aggressively entrepreneurial. But when you don't want to spend that budget 
on the wrong planes. These are the kind of tips one can follow. Suppose when you are spending a certain amount of time, spending a certain amount of time, you will obviously want to know what happens to it. Did something come out of it? Measuring marketing is about reach, frequency, better profit margin, better revenue, more inquiries, intangibles such as loyalty and awards. In fact, today we are really, really lucky to be in a world where so many people, in fact, even uh, the Sankalp Forum is one of the examples, are looking at identifying entrepreneurs and giving them platforms. We are really, really, really lucky to be in these times where our enterprises are more than happy to be heard. So the entire gamut has someone in your organization who is doing the blogging, who is constantly searching what are the new platforms that are coming up. Marketing messaging is so inextricably tied to operational efficiency that you may generate inquiries that the team is unable to operationally execute. See, here is the biggest plus with marketing and it's the biggest minus with marketing. There is no marketing that's not in tandem with your business. Just like you do not stop doing your business, you are at it 24 7. You do not stop marketing, you are at it 24 7. So, while you are, if you have a public relations agency, if you have an advertising agency, they can measure outcomes, they can present it to you in cases, but you will know what is working and you will know what is not working. There is data and there is instinct, both to market. Here we are saying, okay, reach. You can always assess the reach. You put it very simply, you tell your agency, okay, this is where it appeared. So, what is the circulation of this newspaper, or what is the viewership of this channel, what is the listenership of this radio station? When you submit your report to me, outline all of that. So, at least I have some data here yeah, reached out to this universe. That is step one. Frequency, how often did it go out? It is said, that over a period of a quarter, a message sent out seven times to the same universe registers. Over a period of a quarter, a message sent out seven times to the same universe registers. Was that frequency achieved? Because sometimes you do not do what is required. You do it five times and withdraw. And then in that scenario, if you are expecting results, that will not happen. Better profit margin. Nobody better than you to analyze whether this is that. What is better profit margin? Incidentally, a brand always commands a premium. So when I say marketing and better profit margin, I'm asking you, have you become a brand? Do you want to become a brand? Have you become a brand? And if yes, that is when you start commanding better margin. Better revenue, that is obviously a function of your own enterprise, your own reach. You extended your product to a wider audience. More inquiries generated for your organization. Intangible such as loyalty, awards generated for your organization by your own efforts. These are some of the ways to measure marketing because measuring is as important as anything else with respect to Budgets have a curious way of becoming available when really needed. Budgets are never a constraint for an entrepreneur. Businesses that are intrinsically innovative have huge use value that in their business. Just a small thought here for all of you. Was there something, an activity that you spent money on in terms of marketing for your organization till date? And can you share a small experience with you? Is there anything you consciously did without an ad? took out a radio campaign, decided to put something on television. Was there some particular point at which you felt this budget is justified and what was your result? Anybody? Yeah. We participated in a lot of trade fairs. Trade fairs. And okay. the result is that in our, there are only 4,899 buyers in India. Okay. Um, All of them knows. Right. We 
each and every with all the 4,899 minutes in India. In India. We, we are not, we are not, we are not actually for quantity to export. Right. So all the Indian banks they remember us by name. Right. So you are in a scenario where you are saying you have reached a certain <coughs> pinnacle mm -hmm. in terms of reach. Now operational efficiencies or ramping up would be required for you to want to invest in more market. Is that what you say? Unless operationally you right extend now, your services to a broader geography. Right now uh, we don't want to spend anything on money. Right. Because the amount of orders, the inquiries we have, we right. are not able to do. But so operationally you are saturated. So your marketing doesn't make any sense for you till operationally you desaturated. Maybe we could frustrate the customers. You keep on calling and we say many of the Perfect. So, which is again coming to the same point. Operationally, you are saturated. So, to an operationally saturated organization, marketing might not make sense till operationally you are able to be saturated. Say, yeah. for example, when a certain organization can manufacture 1 lakh cars in one setup and has received an order for those 1 lakh cars, unless you set up factory number 2, it doesn't make sense to go out there and seek more customers. So, here is a case where again, when you are saying that you are marketing yourself every minute, and it is inextricably linked to your business. We are again saying that the operational desaturation of your resources is currently critical for you to need more money. Any other example? So if you are, you know, in your category are totally tied up, wouldn't it make sense to be also marketing? Because unless you have one buyer who is buying the entire product, or if people are buying it again and again, you say supposing the bar or show. Hmm. Right. And if I am producing uh, 10 lakh and I am selling everything and I can't you know, sell more but I need to existing buyers who would like to okay. communicate to them. Just to come back to what he was saying, two critical points here. Is your resource pool limited? When you want to desaturate, is it easy for you to expand your available base in that case? No. It is not. So the constraint, so therefore you are saying that the industry that you are in is a high barrier industry. It's not easy for someone else to come in and take your space. It's not very easy to come and take your space. It's not very easy. But it's not. It's, is it something you can imagine that this is at any point in time? Because that's where this question comes in. Not many people have tried that as well because uh, ours is a very highly skilled, a lot of dedication, service, knowledge. So many people have tried in the last four years that uh, none of them have succeeded. Right. So which is not to say that someone in future will not succeed. <coughs> which is yeah. not to say I that or like that. I would like people to come Exactly, you market. want competition. I want so competition. You also I have promoted also to people but it's difficult. So yes, even if you are saturated, there are two things that you always need to do. One is keep communicating about your product or service. And two, desaturate operationally and I am saying this again and again because unless you add capacity somewhere you will have a market, you have a ready market, you have more inquiries you have to keep maintaining your brand, you have to keep running to even be standing sometimes right? sometimes you are running really hard but you are running to stand in the same place so in terms of that yes marketing continuously whether it is saturated I think that's why we here today what is something for it's one of the ways to market it. The definition of marketing. But we keep on marketing today also. Yes. Publication is there. Every day, news, monthly, two or three newspaper articles are there. Every day, every research we communicate to okay, this crop is now ready. This is the time for this harvest. This is the time for every, we are in touch with everybody, but we have our own limitations to service few customers also. Right. So, whoever has supported us at the beginning stage, we are more inclined towards them than to the new customers. Okay. So, operationally speaking, your capacities need to be utilized to the optimum. You do marketing and communication to ensure that operationally whatever you are producing or whatever service is used to the hill. Right? And even once that happens, then there are things like you know glory, rewards, recognition, you never stop marketing. Newer geographies. I don't know where you will be, you know, you will be assessing the geographies that are more, uh, maybe some level 
you will figure out that there is something that can be done more profitably. You are evolving every single day. And as you evolve every single day, what you are saying to your consumer also changes. So everybody among the 5000 people knows you today. But then you have a new message for them. As you evolve. So yes, the need to market continuously exists. Any other experience? Because this is all about sharing your experience on marketing. Is there any other uh, message that I have on that question? So, uh, we get a lot of uh, press coverage. Uh, you know, uh, a lot of people interview us, different magazines and TV papers. So, once we gave an ad, uh, so our biggest marketers can ask for distribution of our product. We gave mm -hmm. her, uh, which is a biomass bookstore. Okay. Uh, so, we gave her a distributor ad. So, we need to expand the distribution. So, we gave her a, a small ad for, I, I think, 50,000 rupees. Uh, very small ad is the leading paper Vijay Karnataka. Okay. And we but, got, okay, you chose that over uh, Vijay Karnataka. Yeah, it's one of the leading papers, top two papers in vision language. In yes, Karnataka. yes, sir. So uh, we got around 50 queries. So okay. we were very happy. But none of those queries, uh, you know, were from real distributors. Mm -hmm. It was from people who value innovation and get excited about it mm -hmm. and contact us. Okay, I want to do it, but they have no distribution experience as such. Right. You know. So, uh, his experience of press press, just to uh, communicate this, is there something that you see? Yeah, we do a lot of trade press as well okay. because he's pointed that out, so I'm not I'm just telling you that. Uh, right. you, but then we got a press coverage in Madhya Okay. And that got us uh, around, you know, around 500, 700 queries. Right. Because it was an article written by the paper, right. it was not an ad. Right. And it was in their weekly magazine as well. Right. You know, so, that was a different impact altogether. Right. So I guess this is about content versus advertising. So wherever you are, whichever city you are in, the only ads that actually succeed in attracting the attention of a woman that have sale written on it. But if in any other situation, the content works more than the ad. See the interesting part about content and uh, okay, look at this in your own family. Go back to the newspaper reading habits of your own family. Which page each person goes to? News has a way of reaching the intended recipient. You are not going to read something on our internet. So, the morning after an Indo Pakistan cricket match, very simple. My husband is going straight to the sports section. I want to see which shows are on sale. My daughter wants to see what is happening in table tennis. This is happening in each and every household. What happened with this gentleman in particular? is example of the article. People who were interested read it. Unfortunately, ads are not the same. Unless, what is the volume of advertising versus the volume of content that goes into a newspaper? Why is content king over advertising? Various reasons for it. But the fact is that next time when he does probably an article in Economic Times, he will get national advice. I don't know if it's a very national or mint or a India today. So each, when he did something in Vijay Karnataka, he might have got local calls. You do something in an Economic Times, you will get calls from investors. If you are interested in partnering with you in some way, with a more national, you know where you are going always. And you decide to expand the geography of your reach. The news reaches the intended recipient every single time. We are all wired that way. There is nothing that one needs to do. One just needs to identify if this is my target audience. I am targeting this at this particular person. Once you choose the right media vehicle, you reach. There is no guarantee that you make it. Which is when the professional services exist. No, newspaper, newspaper articles, newspaper like this, every month. Newspaper gives us a knowledge of in some districts, some farmers. So, so what that is farmers uh, they are inspired to do this for awards right. and also by awards. Right. So this is pretty much like uh, you have an Infosys say for example winning an award for the best employer. That doesn't do much for their business, but marketing is not just about selling a product and service. It's about making the people want to work for you, making the people who are already working for you proud of you. There are so many aspects to marketing. So one of the things you're doing is right. The farmers are proud of their association with you. But the day you decide that I want to approach an investor 
I want to approach somebody with a slight, you know, from a slightly different community. You yourself will be looking at another kind of article. No, the same article was there also. Okay. Reading those articles, only the bankers come to you. Okay, Navar comes to you. Hmm. You can you will find this, you will find that. Right. Same and awards and use for Right. So how long have you been in this how how long have you been in this industry? Four years. Okay, four years. And uh, and in fact buy up since. Right. I was approached by Dabur to have some uh newspaper article. Okay. In which paper? I think it was the economics time or in this time. So yes, the right uh, vehicle does reach the right audience. Uh, the other article uh, that you were talking about with respect to farmers, uh, in in the so fair enough. So see here, we are not saying that there is one right way of doing it. We are saying that so many approaches work. But having said that, when you know what you want to do, you will target that particular publication. It happens, and maybe. At a certain stage, you will feel the need to appear in the mint. You might feel that okay, I'm not sure if mint has covered you, not covered you, but you might feel the need to be there. Okay, okay, mint is also a financial company. Right. So we all decide what we want to do, what message we want to be, where we want to be, depending on where we are. Any other examples? Yeah. yeah at times, uh, even the writing up of the thing. I mean, th there are two ways of giving an achievement. Yeah. One is that the usual way we give the logo, we give some block size, right. achievement, some something. And there is other way which we feel is good is uh, actually putting up the text in a format. It looks like a, a article. Article. Yeah. But it will be a small ADB written in the side. But right. it will be like uh, more or less uh, general people will go through it as an article only. So that Absolutely. also gave us a very good impact. Absolutely. So this is what uh, you know, um, a Bombay Times or a Kolkata Times, they work on this principle. You pay them money yeah. to make something look like an article. Article, yeah. Right? It's called media net in okay, so I, whichever geography you represent. And this can be done in an economic time, this can be done in every paper you want it to be done. Something made to look like an article. Because article is content. Advertising is me talking about myself, article is someone else talking about you. When someone else records you, it's always bound to work more. The human mind all over the world thinks the same way. <coughs> so the article will always work for you. It's a very, very. You have something else to add? Yeah, Ajni, just wanted to know one yeah. thing that uh, a couple of years back, I'm working with a healthcare. Sure. Uh, Geometric Limited. So I think when we started up, uh, when I joined the organization around 8 years back, uh, we used to do that paper inserts, mm. which worked well. Mm. But over a couple of years, it has faded away. I mean, inserts actually go away. Inserts, yeah. Completely waste. So, I mean, initially I remember a camp or a something, and something event going on in the hospital, we gave an insert into the newspaper, the amount of response we got was good. But now, over a couple of years, I mean, four or five years back, has already gone off. Uh, so, right. any specific reasons for that? Yeah, because, see, it is said, and it is being said for a really long time that all communication is converging onto your mobile phone. It is being said again and again, though there are not a lot of companies that have proven this to be a successful day. Every enterprise all over the world is trying to make you hooked on to your mobile phone to their message. I believe that there was uh, something in Maharashtra which uh, Etel was doing for farmers that was giving your Kisan. Uh, feed on the weather, that got a lot of people converting from Vodafone to Etel, one of the most interesting examples of marketing. So yes, we are talking about all communication converging to a point where the communication reaches you. In a way you want to be reached, in a way at your convenience. Therefore a pamphlet and all of that, they have simply lost significance. You don't know whom you are targeting. Some, see, the problem with uh, pamphlets and sampling is it's, it's just too random. It's like mailers. They are sending letters to people's homes. They say Reader's Digest used to do back in the 1960s. There was a Reader's Digest subscription form neatly coming to your house and you would sit and fill it down. Wanting to subscribe to the Reader's Digest. I mean, nobody wants it. If Reader's Digest online is an app on your phone, you will probably download it. And so yes, this is a part of how we are evolving towards marketing. So I guess the common substance really, uh, I think she is pointing to me to close the session. 
but uh, the summary substance really is there were I think very clearly 10 tips outlined they are all very simple put some thought to it ensure that your visual identity does not change too quickly ensure that you make an impact when you meet someone ensure that there is somebody blogging about your organization every time the minute an article comes out the minute an ad comes out what is the person doing Google, going on Google and checking you out so ensure that Google shows up all those results that you want it to show <coughs> via blogging, via whatever messaging, ensure that that goes. Thank you so much. Thank you.